The former United States President Donald Trump has described as blasphemous President Joe Biden's declaration of March 31st as Transgender Visibility Day. March 31st is regarded among Christians as Easter Sunday and Trump seized the moment to accuse Joe Biden of insulting Christians. In a proclamation published on the White House website on March 29, Joe Biden said that the transgender community is loved in America. Today, we send a message to all transgender Americans. You are loved. You are heard. You are understood. You belong. You are America and my entire administration and I have your back. Now, therefore, one, Joseph R. Joe Biden, Jr., President of the United States of America, by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Constitution and the laws of the United States, do hereby proclaim March 31st, 2024, as Transgender Day of Visibility. I call upon all Americans to join us in lifting up the lives and voices of transgender people throughout our nation and to work towards eliminating violence and discrimination based on gender identity, he stated. Reacting, Donald Trump, the presidential campaign organization, accused Joe Biden of assaulting the Christian faith through his proclamation. It is appealing and insulting that Joe Biden's White House prohibited children from submitting religious egg designed for their Easter art event and formally proclaimed Easter Sunday as Trans Day of Visibility. Sadly, these are just two more examples of Joe Biden's administration's years long assault on the Christian faith. We call on Joe Biden's Falling campaign and White House to issue an apology to the millions of Catholics and Christians across America who believe tomorrow, which is today, is for one celebration only the resurrection of Christ Jesus. Caroline Leviat Trump campaign national press secretary stated. On his part, the U.S. Speaker Mike Johnson said. Joe Biden's announcement is outrageous. The Biden White House has betrayed the central tenant of Easter, which is the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Binding scaled truth and tradition, while at the same time proclaiming Easter Sunday as Transgender Day, is outrageous. The American people are taking note, he tweeted. Meanwhile, Trump is gearing up to challenge Biden in the forthcoming presidential election. And these have generated reactions all over the world. Hmm. The quote, the Q in the Q for powerful. Who is the man? He's crazy. Remove him from there. God will judge them one by one. May that stone that was rolled away from the grave of Jesus Christ he used to internally cover the, the camp of the enemy from the next election in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen, someone said. He, Joe Biden, is, okay, I will not say that. That is harsh. God will always be with Trump in everywhere he goes. That is a prayer for the former president of America. God will shame him. Trust me. Donald, by special grace of God, our Almighty Father, you are the coming President of the United States of America, and by God's grace, you will spend 50 years in office and stabilize America again as God's own nation in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. President Joe Biden better watch his too. As an insult on the Easter Sunday, does it just imply an insult on Catholics alone? 
but on the entire Christendom. As a whole, this is not acceptable. Christians in America should take note because this is just the beginning of more altercations to the status, the status quo in Christian norms and guidelines should present Biden succeed in a second tenor. Okay, these are reactions and people are still talking. Joe Biden, okay, these are, are very, very harsh words. Let me leave that. God bless you abundantly, sir, the former president, Donald Trump. Up Trump, the next American president, we are wary of uh, homosexuals next election. Please come quickly. God will continue to bless and elevate Trump. Trump is the is the mount and glory of Christianity. God will, we, we, <laughs> okay. Uh, Biden is sick somehow. Did Biden actually make such as a satanic declaration? If it is true, then his days are numbered in this world. Hmm. It is not an insult to Christianity. He is going, he's doing his thing, not for himself. He is not doing it to Christianity. Hmm. You must be up to something. Someone just replied that message. So, guys, these are reactions from you know people all over the world consigning this uh, news. So, what's your take on this? Kindly drop your comment below the comment section. If you're just joining us, I beg subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you.